I had to summarize a command center in one word, that word would be action. Center exists. But what they'll experience is less waiting. What they'll experience maybe is an intervention that keeps them safe or helps them get better care. Again, they probably don't know that it happens, but they have a better experience, get home faster, and sometimes have a better outcome. 2017 in July, mid-July, is when I had the aortic dissection. The blood was coming out of my heart, but not going to the lower extremities of my body. And I just remember, you know, laying on my back, looking up, not feeling a thing, and knowing that there was something major going on with me. They wrapped me up in this, like a package, in bubble wrap, and flew me to Hopkins. And after that, I just remember waking up in the morning. From the moment the call comes in and the Hopkins Access uh, line expediter has had so much experience or has been trained so well to recognize certain priority one conditions that they then alert all of those in the command center who need to be aware of the patient. The Lifeline Transportation Group can be listening to the physician interaction and as soon as they get a sense that that patient might need to be transferred in a critical way they can dispatch the aircraft to go get the patient, or they can dispatch the ambulance to go get the patient. Little did I know, it's a 2% survival rate. It was timing, boom, boom, boom. Managing all the time, all the communication along the way uh, is what saved my life. The possibilities for command centers and data in healthcare are almost endless, from access and throughput to population health, to managing hospital networks and systems of care, to quality and pathways and bundles. If you really think about it, the potential to make an impact for patients and for caregivers and for the efficiency of the healthcare system is, is massive. It's truly tremendous. I think what excites me most about where we are in healthcare and where we're going is that with all of the information that's available now, people are gonna be making better decisions. And that's the bottom line. The bottom line is patients are gonna get taken care of better. We get these notes from patients and about patients all the time that talk about, if you guys hadn't been here, this wouldn't have gone this way. To this day, I feel like, you know, I feel the wind, you know? My dog is pulling me as I'm walking her. My wife is, you know, yelling my name, you know, I'm here, I'm alive. I could have been gone like that. So thank God all that, you know, happened for me.